All right, guys, so I'm about to start training today. Got a leg day session planned out. Uh, I'm gonna hit squats, maybe front squats, and dumbbell deadlifts. It is hot outside, so I'm about to get some sunscreen, put it over my hands. I have this fucking skin condition that when I'm out too much, I start getting like some sort of rash all over my arms. It's really annoying. I, uh, planning to go check it out soon at the doctors but yeah guys i'm gonna take you guys through my leg day workout and have fun yeah so yeah guys like i was telling you i have some skin condition in which i start getting all these rashes i remember starting like around seventh grade like i get all these white spots and um last summer i was able to prevent it by a uh, applying some um lotion into it and i just found my lotion tube so i'm gonna start using it again but this summer i don't know if it's because it's hotter or something else is affecting this but yeah i get this weird rash it's really itchy and annoying really really um painful not painful like as in ah uh, excruciating pain but that annoyance of all um, of the itchiness I used to work as a car attendant at Target. My God, that was hell. That was hell. First, I'm going to warm up. Uh, I'm gonna do some couple little stretches, active stretches, and a couple of uh, squat movements just to get the blood pumping. So yeah, guys, one of the stretches that I really like to prioritize during leg day is pretty much anything that has to do with the hips. The couch stretch really helps you stretching out your hips. You place one of the one of your legs on any kind of couch. Right here, I have a bench that I use for bench pressing. So you place the leg on top and you pretty much kneel down with the other leg. You kneel it down and it's going to stretch pretty much your quadricep all the way to your hip you want to be flexing that quad getting maximum effort out of it getting the best results out of the stretch so you flex your quad a couple of times a couple of like three to five times get a nice stretch in your hips the other stretch that i like to do is uh i for always forget its name i always forget the name of that stretch but it's somewhat a squat position and where you stay down in the pocket and pretty much stretch out your hips with your arms by placing your arms in the middle and just pushing out. You guys are gonna be seeing clips of these stretches on top of this uh, commentary kind of thing. Um, so you guys will know what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm about to get started. I'm about to start squatting. It's gonna be simple work right now, nothing heavy. We're just warming up, getting that full warm up, getting blood into our muscles so we won't be cold and avoid any kind of injuries. We don't want injuries, especially me right now that I just got out of the pew. All right guys, so we're done warming up. I'm about to rack up some weight on this. I'm aiming for 155 today. I might go heavier depending on how I feel, how my ankle feels. My ankle's still feeling kind of funny guys. Remember I had three injuries. Lower back, wrist, and ankle. The ankle's still feeling kind of funny, but I've been able to squat before, and we're gonna try and do 155, maybe even heavier. Anyways, aiming for four to five sets of squats, along with three to four sets of dumbbell deadlifts and four sets of walking lunges.
I decided to stick to 155. It's feeling pretty heavy. I, before my injuries, I was squatting like 210. That's a big um, decrease, a big drop. But I feel uncomfortable with my ankle, like I said. And I, that means that I can't lift as much weight, but still squat. And I'm gonna do that. Uh, Perhaps another check up on my ankle later on the weekend, but it's it's not feeling that bad. Just truly, truly uncomfortable. There's a stretch in it and it hurts. And the next day it hurts even more. <laughs> so yeah, just updating you guys through as I go through my workout. We're timeless, sailing through, but tonight no we can't go far. And I know it cannot lie. But at last I can finally breathe And I know it cannot last But at last I can finally see guys so i'm done finished working out i did what i really wanted to do i wasn't able to implement another exercise that was the i'm okay with the way everything went i wish i could have actually gone through and added another exercise but i wasn't able to simply because i'm completely strained i can't push out another rep i did the best i could and it's done then right here i have my little brother laughing at me because I'm vlogging. Hola. Hi. Alright guys, so I'm here again at another park this time, Legion Park in the middle of downtown LA. And well, I'm trying to keep up this routine of running going on. Three times a day, uh, I mean three times a week, not a day. So really trying to keep it up and I think I'm doing good so far. This is my third time here. Uh, third time running this week so let's get it right let's get it my shoes are a little bit dirty they're brand new kind of hurts but we're adding miles to them putting them miles into the shoes so today was fun it was a good run it made me feel like my conditioning is getting there it's just getting there Not not rushing things, taking things step by step. Uh, a couple weeks more and I think I'll be back like, like I used to run. Of course, not the shape that I was in, but the way I used to run. So that's the goal right now. Yeah.